I'm going to do a comparison between phased array and conventional UT on a weld with a backing bar. This is the same type of weld, three eighths of an inch or nine and a half millimeters that we had in the previous videos with that nasty lack of root penetration. I'm going to scan the whole thing with phased array and you can see along the entire root of the weld, I've got that consistent indication that's the corner trap, but to size the height, we want some tip diffractions and we get these at those locations right there. But Hold up a minute, why does it look like we only get these on the first leg? I'm gonna switch the palette, give it a big old boost, and you can actually still see them on the second leg, they're just weaker. Actually, that thing kind of reminds me of one of those Rorschach or Horshack tests, uh, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go right here. That's where the maximum height is. Switch to my B31 palette, the hard cuts. I'll pull the palette limits and just get that little spot to light up yellow, which makes it really easy to find the peak position. The peak is 6.5 millimeters down from the top surface and on a nine and a half millimeter weld, that makes the height of this guy three millimeters high. Now I'm gonna repeat the whole thing with conventional 70 degree UT, find that big root signal, see it line up in my back wall line, that's the corner trap again. Then we're gonna wiggly woo our probe around, push it forwards a bit, find that tip signal on the first leg, peak it up, we get the same measurement. On the wave, I'll switch to the scan plan view and adjust the probe position to the right spot. There it is lined up with the unbeveled edge of the joint. Then compare that to phased array. Phase array is nice because we can see the corner trap and the tip at the same time, and we get the same measurement with conventional UT, no problems. We just have to raster the probe a bit and keep track of where we are.